everyone this is Janika to natural and welcome to my channel if it's your first time coming to my channel welcome and do not forget to subscribe also press the notification so you'll be notified whenever my video is gonna come out it should be every Wednesday Thursdays but you know you never know whenever you see me you'll see me <laughs> and if it's you uh, if you're coming back to my channel welcome back don't forget to press like at the end of the video whenever you feel like pressing like so that you show love to my channel this is my new hair journey that I started November the 8th I decided to go lock to lock my hair because I was just tired of my natural loose hair. I've been natural uh, since 99, 2000, I believe, almost 20 years. So in 2009 was the last time that I put a relaxer or texturizer on anything like that on my hair. I never went back since that time. So yeah, it's gonna be 10 years since I stopped putting just anything like that. The only thing I put on my hair that has some chemicals is some color, but I don't put color as much anymore. I used to put color like every six months. The last time I put color was before I cut my hair like two years ago. I've been doing a whole lot to my hair. I even put my hair in protective style for a long time. The past two years, actually, since I did my semi big chop, my hair was in protective style. I was mostly doing crochet braids, crochet twists, crochet, just anything. And everything was done by, by myself. I'm probably gonna do like a video recap of the past two years, what I've been doing to my hair. The past two years also, I've been just looking at different locks and I fell in love with locks for so long. I wanted to become lock actually the first time I became natural. And my hair was in two, two strand twists. But after one month, I just decided that I wasn't ready because I wanted to play more with my hair. If you see what I'm saying, before going that route. And I noticed also the past 10 years, since the last time that I became like just natural without no chemicals, I've been spending a whole lot of money, too much money on um, natural products. And I'm pretty sure a lot of those products were not even natural also. My hair was suffering sometimes. I had like some breakage and things as if I had like a relaxer, which it didn't make any sense. And I would say the past year, I didn't do much to my hair. My hair was in crochet or sometimes just you know, wash and goes. Like literally wash and I just go. I put a ponytail and then I just stepped out. I, just, I didn't want to do deal with my hair anymore. Um, especially the, the past three months, I didn't want to do anything with my hair. I was just to the point where I didn't want to cut my hair because I don't think my hair, I don't have the right head for to have very short hair. Uh, that's just me. But it was becoming too much work and I didn't want to do that anymore. So now I'm going to embrace the journey. I'm going to embrace everything. I want to embrace even the immature period of my hair, like as of now. As you can see, there's some strand, there's like three, four locks over here that's pretty short. And that's what I had from my hair that was falling uh, from the past year. Also, since I was stressed, uh, I had a whole lot of stress. So some of my hair was falling out on this side as well but it's growing it's gonna grow back very very full i'm happy that i don't have like gold patches here and there i don't want to spend much mon money on products some people say oh you know you can try this product that product i don't want to do the same thing that i was doing when i was like a loose natural to buy a whole bunch of products and then now nah, I'm, I'm i'm not about that life anymore unless maybe it's like styling products like if i have a wedding or something's very very special then i might do it besides that i'm not too interested into doing that well we'll see in the future but not for now i even tried to do my own moisturizing spray i'll show a video a clip here i started shooting it and the spray was working pretty much for the past uh, past few days but then after that the water itself was becoming the smell i didn't like the smell of the water after a few days yeah then i, I, I found out that I didn't do it the right way you had to put like some bowls inside and put the petals so the water is supposed to be clear even if you boil the, the rose petals but you know you live and you learn so what I did I just put water with rose water essential oils I just have a spray of bottle and that's pretty much how uh, how I moisturize my hair and also what I do uh, I do take my shower and just wet my hair and just get out of the shower like today and my hair is good I don't need to do anything until it's retwist day which is gonna be probably next week or two 
and I might put like a wig just for a special occasion but besides that I don't really need to do anything with my hair which I'm really 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 happy about that the method that I used was the two strand twist which for me was better because of the curl of my hair and I did want to do like a lock method like the uh, the coil method I mean I would have to go to a hair salon I didn't want to do a hair go to a hair salon because I just wanted to have my own journey with my hair so I wanted to know my hair as much as possible and I want to know my hair how it's gonna feel and how it's gonna react I know my hair already has since I've been natural like for, for so long going to a hairstyling meaning spending a whole lot of money again to a lot styling which is fine you can go to a lactation there's no problem with that or you can pay somebody but for me my hair is my journey and I wanted to do like at the same time a spiritual journey because I'm very spiritual I'm very into God and I wanted to have that connection with my hair which is very very special to me so that's one of the reason why I didn't go to nobody else to do my hair it's fine the way that I did it I knew how to do my twist already and you know I'm gonna learn to take care of my hair like really seriously take care of my hair and my health at the same time yeah so that's why I didn't go to a, a a specialist again we'll see about that in the future but for the moment I want to do it by myself I'm a DIY type of girl so I like to do stuff on my own and then if it doesn't work well you know there's always other options but I'm always open to suggestion by the way I'm always open to uh, tips and like different techniques that I could learn also to twist my hair so I'm just learning I'm very very new into it if there's anything you know about locks and if you've been into a lock journey just put it down below let me know uh, how long you've been growing your locks and I'm looking to see more videos about that I don't want to see no videos that people do locks like I've seen a lot of people on online and after not even a month like this they switch to back to natural I even saw like one girl she put back the relaxer on her hair and I was like what the you know <laughs> I, w I was so like I was about to subscribe and I'm like oh this looks you know and then I check you know the video like her playlist and I see like the next video she went back natural and the next video she was uh she was putting a relax and I was like what me I want to take it seriously like it, it could happen like you know you tried it you didn't like it you go back to natural but I've seen way 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 too many of these videos and I'm just like maybe they're doing it for clout I don't know but you know it's mi very misleading I don't want to be that type of person and also like just just for for the clickbait for the cloud I'm really deep into my journey I take that seriously I'm gonna commit as much as possible yeah God willing you know it's gonna be 10 years and I'm still gonna be locked I'm not exactly sure I have to recount when I started I had 86 but then in the back I noticed like after three weeks the parting was getting like way too big when I was touching from the back of my head I decided to separate some of the locks in the back of my head separate it like in two so I think I have 90 or 91 around that I'm gonna put the number on that side so you guys can see how I'm interested also because I want to know my number angel and that's part of the spiritual journey for my locks so I know I had 86 and I'm gonna put the description description maybe here about what it meant I've saw, I've seen that on a video from um, uh, another youtuber I forgot her name she's into like her journey and I love her videos I found that it was very interesting that the number of locks she she was she was merging it with the eight number of <laughs> the number eight angel number I do not expect nothing I'm just trying out the locks and like I said I'm gonna wait a few years to see how it grows I'm really really happy about my decision I'm not going back I wanted to postpone it to uh, my birthday which is um, June 24 next year I didn't want my just starting my locks because I learned that um, locks can take 6 to 12 months to really lock completely so I wanted to be locked as much as possible for my next birthday so I, I started my lock journey right after I came out of the hospital from my surgery and um, that's gonna be for another video as probably in the next video I'm gonna talk about the surgery that I had and what happened to me and things like that I'm gonna show you my hair like in a hole how it is like what am I holding on to what are we showing what are we showing this time I'm tired of faking feeling Feeding you the lines We're not amazing Why does me changing feel right? Our love's a lion Paralyzed for life Don't you know That we need, that we need to grow You keeping us below Where we can go 
guys that's it for me thank you so much for watching like I said in the beginning of the video if you like anything that you see just thumb the video and put a comment down below subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can stay notified about my next video coming up it's probably gonna be every Wednesdays or Thursdays or whenever you see it but whenever you see my video popping up just you know watch the video and let's chat down below and I will see you guys on the next video bye Okay, now it's time to leave a comment below, like, subscribe and share my video as well and also hit the notification so you get noticed when my next video is coming up and also follow me on my other social media pages. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!